Hey guys, Win360 is here and I'm back to do another video for you guys. In this video I will be reviewing the new Cyberlink PowerDirector 13 video editing software. It's the 13th generation in the PowerDirector line, so I'm super excited to check this thing out. I've been using uh, PowerDirector since version 11 and I really like it, so uh, it's really uh, going to be fascinating for me to see what the new version has to offer in terms of uh, changes. So let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. So let's Go ahead and open it. Uh, so this is the welcome to PowerDirector 13 splash screen. We get uh, to set the video aspect ratio. We can toggle it between 16 to 9 or 4 to 3. Uh, we have the three modes that we can enter into. Full feature editor, easy editor, or slideshow creator. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I will go to the full feature editor so I can show you guys everything. So this is the, uh, that was the boot animation, and this is the workspace. So on the left here, again, super simple uh, workspace. That's why I like it. It's super simple, uh, nothing really fancy or special. Uh, very simple to use and intuitive. But anyways, on the left, we have the media room where you'll see all your imported images and videos and stuff like that. And on the effects, uh, this is the FX effects room. And we have over 120 effects, I believe, and you can apply them all and take advantage of them. And then we have the PIP objects room, uh, picture and PIP, picture and picture objects room. So they're basically basically like little graphics. And we also have the uh, particle room, and these are just and as similar to the uh, PIP objects, but these are just animated, I think. Uh, so pretty cool. And we have the title room, pretty self-explanatory, where you create your titles and your, your headings uh, to the videos. And we have the transition room for uh, using the transitions that Cyberlink Director comes with. And we have the audio mixing room where you can set the volume of any, each individual track, uh, for example, a music track or a background music track or the voice, etc. And we also have the voiceover recording room. Uh, so in case if you want to do voiceovers. Uh, the first feature I want to show you guys is the multicam designer. So basically it allows you to uh, design and edit multicam videos if you're using multiple cameras uh, showing different video angles for example so you can uh, just import the individual angles uh, here and then uh, Cyberlink PowerDirector will uh, automatically synchronize the audio for you so you don't have to do anything like that um, I don't really have the videos to show you guys this um, videos required to show you guys this but um, it's pretty cool and it, it's really cool if you if you're uh, planning to use uh, multiple cameras uh, to show different angles the next feature I want to show you guys is the uh, theme designer. It's not necessarily new to PowerDirector 13, but I still show it because I think it's a really cool way to create uh, slideshows using pictures, uh, and they're really cool. So let's say I want to use the uh, Voyage of Discovery 2.0 template. So I just have to check the box and you know select uh, the opening, the middle, the middle, the second middle, and just all of that. So all of these are selected. As you can see, the sequences are selected as seven sequences. You can just click on OK, and um, it all shows up right here. So for the first opening, um, you want to you can import import a picture. I'm just doing this roughly. Um, it's by no means perfect. I'm just only doing it for demonstration. So I can import this picture into this uh, slot right here, and then go to the next sequence. Uh, we can we have the option to. I have two pictures so I can upload another so I can just import put in drag in another picture and then in the next sequence uh, the same thing and drag another picture and then the next sequence I can uh, drag another picture and also videos too um, and then next sequence I'll drag in this motorcycle video and then this video I'll do the bike and then finally, I'll end it. I'll end it with the um, the sunrise. So after we've imported all the pictures and everything like that, uh, all we have to do is just click on OK, and then it will automatically produce it in a few seconds on the timeline for us, so we can play it. So let's just wait for that hat to happen. Uh, as you can see, the slideshow we just created from the theme designer appeared on our timeline. So we can, now we can click on movie mode and then play. And then as you can see, it's pretty cool. Uh, so simply with the drag of a few pictures, it, <laughs> the theme designer automatically made a pretty cool slideshow uh, for you guys, like a video, some using 
so making the uh, pictures into a video so uh, so that's pretty cool so that's the uh, theme designer another cool feature added into parent director 13 is now we can create our own transitions so uh, let's go to the transition room and then click on this uh, create a new alpha transition so what it basically does is it creates a transition uh, using one of your pictures so let's say I want to use my um, Moto G picture for a transition so I can just double click and they'll import it into the transition designer I think so let's just wait for that to load up so this is the transition designer and then you can um, set the progression and also on the left here the image you know keep aspect ratio uh, do all sorts of stuff with it but it basically just turns this picture into a transition in case in case if you want to use it uh, for a transition so I can save it and then enter a name for the transition and just call it Moto G and then I click OK and then this is the, my new transition that, that I just created myself appeared here so I can uh, drag it here the transition I created onto the timeline so let's just do it to the um, theme designer slideshow we just created and that'll load up so if we click on play as you can see the um, the transition that we just created uh, from a picture to a uh, uh, from a picture to a transition so that's really cool so we just created a, a transition from a photograph. So that's that. Another new feature is now we can add effects onto our title clips. So for example, if I want to bring a a title, anyone, I'll just do under the C. Uh, loading, loading, come on, come on. Okay, good. So once it comes down here, I can go to the effects room effects and choose a effect so we have a bunch of effects added now uh, new effects so let's just choose I'll do I'll just do um uh, candy canes so I can uh, now apply the tr uh, effects onto title clips which we can't do before so that's really cool and we when we play it as you can see the the candy canes and all the stuff so that's really cool Okay, so now another thing is, uh, speaking of effects, we have a bunch of new effects added, and the the one that I think it's pretty is pretty cool is, so I'll just put the boat down in the timeline and uh, go to the tra effects room, and then go down to the uh, new effects, the new blue, the new the new the new blue viewfinder. So yeah, so we have a bunch of new effects added, and this is this is one of them. So I can just now drag on to the timeline, and this is the effect. So pretty cool. It creates a um, a viewfinder a kind of scene. So that's pretty cool. And then another uh, new effect. I'm not sure if it's new or not, but I'm just demonstrating the effects. Um, is the oh yeah, the old movie effect. So I can. I drag the old movie effect onto the timeline and uh, as you can see it creates that old movie look which is really cool um, um, and it creates that old movie effect so uh, that's that and we also have a enhanced uh, video stabilizer so it'll do a much better job uh, stabilizing the video clip um, so here is the one that I have here that's pretty shaky I want to correct it so it's not shaky and I want to make it stable so I just highlight this video clip and go to well click on fix and enhance and then go to stabilizer ch check this box and then um, we have the new option of using the enhanced stabilizer. So basically, uh, the enhanced stabilizer improves the output quality of the video clips, so it'll look better. It, it won't look uh, as artificial as before. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we can um, add the degree um, to, uh, to to correct the shaky video, and then we can play it 
as you can see it's it's much better without the uh, stabilizer it's pretty shaky but with uh, the stabilizer it's um, a lot less shakier because uh, thanks to the new enhanced stabilization engine and uh, another new thing is the uh, cloud integration in 2014 everything is going to the cloud and that's no different with the video editing softwares so Cyberlink added this new uh, Cyberlink cloud integration so basically now um, if you have a Cyberlink account and you uh, use that to sign into the software you can basically uh, let's say I want to save this uh, project I can just go to file and upload this project to Cyberlink Cloud so basically after I upload to the cloud I can uh, for example go to another device and you know pick off where I pick a uh, download the project on that computer and just pick up where I locked off so that's really cool so for example I, I if I want to upload it I can choose it just I'll just say demo so uh, that'll be uploaded to the cloud so saving chapter thumbnails um, etc saving title thumbnails so I'm uploading that to the cloud uh, 100% uploaded your project was successfully uploaded to cyberlink cloud okay so let's say uh, let's just pretend this is a new computer so I can go to file and uh, download project from uh, cyberlink cloud and as you can see it would appear right here so you can pick up where you left off so it's really really cool great for continuing projects on another computer for example um, you get 10 gigabytes I believe uh, which is pretty uh, plenty for uh, video projects and uh, we also have uh, some technical new technical stuff added uh, we have we now have the support of H.264 slash HEVC, uh, the new uh, video format, which is the successor to the H.264 uh, codec. And codec, and, and, and in theory, it's supposed to create 68% smaller files than H.264, so it, it uses substantially less bandwidth, but it still keeps the uh, same compression, compression quality. So it's basically you're getting the same quality, but uh, less, the file size will be smaller, which is really cool. And I'll show you guys that. So let's say I just put these two clips together and I hit produce so we can go to the production page. And then we have the uh, new H.65 HEVC codec, as you can see right here, um, MP4 MKVM2TS. And we also have the new addition of the another for, uh, codec that supported the file format, which is H. XAVCS, and that's most more commonly used in uh, HD videos and uh, and 4K content, and that's uh, specifically mainly de uh, designed for Sony. Um, so that's uh, those are the new um, file formats that are supported. So that's really about it for all the new features and changes in PowerDirector 13. I really think this is a really good video editing software. Again, I, I, I've been using PowerDirector for a while. I really like PowerDirector, and I recommend if you are someone that's looking for a powerful and a good video editing software, but you don't want to uh, have something that's too complicated to learn or hard to learn, I would definitely go with PowerDirector. It, com it really combines simplicity and power um, into this one package, and it's really easy to learn and use. So it's not as hard as uh, Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, any of those other uh, advanced uh, complicated softwares. It, it still brings you uh, good tools, but um, you don't sacrifice the ease of use. So again, uh, great video editing software. And uh, if you're um, considering upgrading to PowerDirector 13, um, I would say if you want to upgrade, go for it. Um, it uh, since you can really take advantage of a lot of the new features, um, which are really nice and uh, cool to have. But if you're not going to upgrade, um, you're, you're still going to be fine. You're not missing out on much, really. Um, so overall, this will be it for this video. You can uh, check my links in the description for the price and the, and the, all the information about the software to Cyberlink's website, etc. Um, so this will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button to support me. And also hit the, like, hit the thumbs up button to give my video a like. And thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.